Hi everyone, Gerald O'Neill here uh, with Castle Decorating. So, I done a video yesterday on this job that I'm on. And uh, as you know, it's the full house redecoration. And uh, the plan is basically um, the starting area in the house. Uh, like I was saying yesterday, you know, when you're doing a full house, you do need to be organised, you know. So I only started here yesterday and the plan is, uh, this is, suits the customer uh, as well as myself, is to do the kitchen, which I'm in at the minute. Uh, there's a wee store at the back there and there's a utility room. So the plan is to get this area done first. So what I done yesterday was um, I got the ceilings done. Uh, they got two coats of uh, brilliant white matte finish. So the scenes are finished. I got all the walls prepared yesterday. As you can see but here, you know, there was a bit of preparation. A um, few uh, nails were taken out where there was pictures hung up and the customer wanted basically all the screws taken out from the wall, all the wee hooks and stuff, and I filled all those. So the walls are all prepared. Scenes are finished. And uh, the colour going onto these walls is, uh, it's a little green. Uh, it's a little green paint and the colour is clock face. And as I said yesterday, it's the whole house going in this one colour, except for the living room. And then the kitchen cupboards here. Uh, just pop a wee ca camera down here. I'll just bring it up and that's how we look. So these here, all these kitchens I'm gonna take all the handles off take cupboard stores off uh, obviously degrease it all and uh, prime it and give it uh, a few coats of its colour trend set and finish and it's Chinese whisper and so that's what colour the kitchen cupboards are going but I'll, I'll be leaving that job for a, for a wee bit basically the whole thing to do here is get the ceilings walls we've worked on uh, of the frames yesterday as well I got all the frames uh, they had a high gloss finish on them, so uh, again I'm doing them in colour trend brilliant white satin. So that's a water base, so th these frames had, I'll just turn this around again. So you can see a wee frame there, I have it primed. Uh, they had a high gloss finish as I was saying, so what I put on them was uh, colour trend prime too. They recommend that for gloss, if you're, uh, if you're going to put a water base satin on, uh, over an oil based paint they recommend a couple of their primers either prime 2 or prime 3 which is the oil based one which I like to use on the, the hand painted kitchens but the prime 2 is fantastic and uh, doing around uh, door frames and skirting boards and stuff and uh, so it gets one a light sand one coat of that primer in the door frame which it's had and two coats of colour trend satin so um, basically onto the walls here, they're all filled, prepared, ready for the first coat of clock face. So uh, I'll do this wall for you here now. And uh, the other thing is these doors here, I think I didn't mention to you there, I'm gonna give them a, a sand down. You just need a light sand down and uh, give them two coats of antique paint satin, uh, or it'll be a satin finish. And again, I'll put the Ojo oil in there. It does give it a nice finish, nice smooth uh, satin finish. Um, so all the, the doors down here are going in that colour. So, as I say, um, this is where I'm starting. And utility room, kitchen and store, all the scenes are done. All the door frames are primed. And walls are prepared, as I say. And I'm ready to put the first coat onto the walls here. So, I'll just pop this around here. I made a wee start. As you can see where we are, it's a nice colourless uh, clock face, you know, very neutral. Uh, it will go well with the uh, Chinese whisper that's going on through the kitchen cupboards, which is slightly a lot deeper than this here. So, there we go. I always say, get a nice straight edge along there.
we saw that here, left and right. I actually haven't done a video yet on paint and sealants. Uh, so I've got these um got these sealants finished here, so I'll do a wee video at some point in this job on doing sealants. Um so where we'll go, say so I'll just pop this down a wee bit further for you. Oh so you've run this socket here, just around the bottom, this wall. I think it was saying a wee while ago, um, uh, Crown gave me this brush here. Uh, I actually bought another wee box of them there, um, the Prodac Ace Fusion. So I normally do use, uh, I use, always use good quality brushes, say they're like a Hamilton Expression or a Purdy, you know, there's a few good brushes out there. But these are an excellent brush for, uh, for emulsion work and uh, they, have, they really do have a nice sharp edge. So you get in tight the sockets and, and uh, along your uh, from your wall to your seam, you're getting that nice sharp edge, you know. Um, so I, I have to say, I'm very happy with this wee brush here. If if you're not too sure what brush to use, I would recommend this one. I love more many other brushes, but it definitely is a good brush. There's just another wee solid here. Again, just. Take your time, keep it clean, just cut into the edge there. Make sure there's no heavy brush marks after you cut it, just lay it off nice and light. Just paint that wee pipe colour there. Then. As I say, we're in the wee routine with this here type of work, you know, it doesn't, it really doesn't take you long to, uh, to go around it, you know. So as I say, you know, um, before I started this now, I sanded all the filler down, hoovered everything up, put a sheet down, you know, uh, tidy up, as I always say, tidy up as you go along, you know, keep the, the area tidy where you're working, it does make a job a lot easier. This area in here, cross. Uh, one wall, just cut one wall in, top bottom, and then roll it. Then move on to your next wall. Make sure, I've said, but dust sheet down here, small sheet over the wee work top there. Make sure everything's covered. As you can see, we are coming off. Yeah, just get a nice sharp edge going along that white ceiling there. It does make all the difference. I'm saying when you get an eye, you have to wear glasses when you're doing this type of work. You know. Just these screen here and uh, stem. That's where they're clockled. Come in and leave that up. So, it's staying put.
just a save here to do that. the steps out of the way. This is probably the biggest wall in this kitchen here, you know, but just between the, the door, you know. We place it each side. There we go. You can see it's all cut on there. Uh, I've already got the bottom done there as well. And we see it there, just down there. Okay. So I'll just pop the camera around here. And um, get this wee area rolled in. So, nice sharp edge along your ceiling there. Uh, around your socket, down the top, down the side of your door frames, along the top of your skirting. The semi sabots. Just cut it nice and neat round them. Lay it off tidy with a brush. I always say make sure there's no heavy brush marks or you know uh, use a good a good quality roller sleeve, uh, medium pale, and when you're rolling the wall, you know what I mean. Just lay it off nice and neat after you roll it. You know, make sure there's no again. Yeah, you don't want heavy roller marks. You don't want heavy brush marks. Get my roller handle here, and that's us ready to go. Let's walk. See me there, okay? And just roll it down there. Just working this wee roller in. Whenever you're, you're changing colours with rollers, you know, uh, it does take a few dips to kind of get your roller worked in. And uh, so it's, it's more very important when you're working your roller in to lay it off, you know, that's the you can't get heavy roller marks, you know. So Again, yeah, whenever you're rolling, see your um, your wee sockets are, you know. Bring your roller in really, really tight the way you've cut in, you know, so you don't notice the difference between the roller mark and the brush mark. Same up on the earth, you know, as well. Yeah, 
I'm going to set your door frame. I'm going to frame your door and really tight, like so. Make sure you can know how to do my marks are. Just lay it off a little bit. Oh man, I just have this wee section here to do. Up your shots, two shots are. There you have it. So that's your first coat done there. Um, you can see. Bottom there, and so if you look here, that there's the colour there whenever it dries, just below the socket there. Um, so basically, I have this wall to do here. Uh, let it over to that corner, a bit of cutting in around your window, uh, around the cooker hood, if two windows in that wall, uh, then just we round the other wall here. So that's me. Um, my plan today and is get the first coat on the kitchen wall, utility room wall, and the the wee store wall. And then there's one, two, there's three doors there. All the frames are primed. Just send out show the wee camera around here. The one here. Uh, I should restore in there. One, two, three frames. Uh, one, two, three. There's three doors. Have to prime them yet. And then a wee utility room in here. So if I can get, the, get it all first coated, get the walls all first coated uh, today. And put the paint away. I'll finish off any priming. Then tomorrow the plan is put the finished coat on the walls and start first coating all the woodwork. So uh, that's the plan. And then uh, the whole stairs and landing is the next job. The bit to do there I think I was saying yesterday. Of spindles, um, antique pine spindles going white, and the posts and handrails are staring in the antique pine, you know, bit of work on that. Uh, seems well the same as in here. Um, but I'll keep us up to date, and um, these doors here, I'll do a wee fitting on these as well. Um, get, get a nice, you know, I'll put a nice finish on these. Again, I want to use Saturn Extra, it's an oil based uh, stain, uh, but it's a satin finish. But with the oil and in it, it really does give a lovely finish, I have to say, you know. Uh, again, I'll show you the best way to go about doing these stores. Anyway, 
uh, I'm just going to work away here and um, thanks very much for watching and uh, if you have any questions the usual by all means send me a message if you need any suggestions or help with anything okay thanks a lot bye